Hi, my name is Torelli Samuel. I'm part of the Biotechnology Academy, and today I'll be presenting my senior project, which is based on how has the pandemic contributed to increase depression. Mental disorder awareness is never enough for the simple reason that there isn't enough understanding of what exactly caused depression. Depression can affect people in so many different ways with different symptoms to different level of danger. People struggle with mental health disorder because of the experiences they have in life. And living this pandemic hasn't helped anyone fight depression better. With the outbreak of COVID-19, it also brought an outbreak on depression. COVID-19 caused everyone to isolate themselves for their own safety, but this only contributed to people feeling more hopeless and more depressed. The understanding of different types of depression is important. And the understanding of depression is very important because depression is an illness that affects everyone in many different ways. According to many articles, there is exactly seven different types of depression. And so some of them are major depression, persistent depressive disorder, bipolar disorder, and seasonal affective disorder. They all have different symptoms, but what is more common during this pandemic is the major depression since it's the one that causes more stress. With the isolation, people did not have much to do, and with all the news all over the world of people dying only caused more stress and fear on people. In the middle of this pandemic, society started raising mental health awareness because what we are all going through is a lot to handle. There is never a good reason for someone to be depressed, but it's understandable in this situation since we're living a pandemic. This pandemic has brought sorrow to everyone's life, from losing jobs to losing people we love. People know that the lockdown was to protect ourselves from this deadly virus. But do we even know what this lockdown has done to us? Parents are worried because the lockdown is causing job loss which is associated with increase in depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. It's proven that women with children is more likely to report symptoms of depression, 49% more than men, which is only 40%. COVID-19 has affected everyone, but mostly women with kids because of the responsibilities they have and not only because they have they need a job to be res responsible for their kids because they also have to make sure that their kids are attending classes and everything else the long term term effects of covid-19 depression the depression that came along with covid-19 will have will affect people long term because it will not be easy for people to recover from such trauma in a short period of time. COVID-19 impacted everyone's life in such a way that even if we learn to live with it, the trauma will stay with us. This virus caused an era of depressed, depression that will be challenging for people to recover from, or others might not ever recover from. But look for help should be the next step for everyone to process, to progress progress and move on with their lives. Researchers are working on how to help people after this chaos. More than 42% of people are reporting to have symptoms of anxiety and depression. It will be challenging to provide help for all those people, but the idea is to pro progress together to fight depression. It's obvious that providing help to everyone will be challenging, which is why raising mental health awareness is really important. Well, that concludes my presentation. I'll uh, take a minute to thank my teacher for all the support and thank my friend Kades for motivating me. And at last, I'd like to thank myself for not giving up. And thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Bye.